Hello everybody, this is Jenny McGarvey and I'm going to share with you how I did my memory planning this week in my Happy Planner. I am using the Gold Dot edition of the Happy Planner and I am going to go ahead and get started. This video is going to be super, super quick because I have a huge backlog of videos to edit and share with you and I want to make sure that I can get that done in a semi-timely fashion, so making quick videos it is. I am sticking to a green and lavender color scheme this week, so I'm sort of searching through my photos, or not photos, sorry, my stickers, to try to find the perfect ones to get started. Now, you can see here, this is one of the sticker books that I have all of my Happy Planner stickers in, and I'm really loving it. The only problem I'm having, which is just totally me, is I'm not able to find the stickers I'm looking for quite as quick. So I still need to break them down a little bit in terms of different categories, and I'll get there. There's definitely still some room for improvement and changing things up, and I will absolutely make that work. Now, right there you'll see I did use a gold sticker to notate the cleaning, and that's kind of what I love about this whole project is that I allow myself to add and subtract things that maybe do or don't work for me. And so that's where, oh, adding a little bit of gold to this project this week was perfect. Even though I am going to focus mostly on green and purple, the gold goes great too. And so for me, there's really truly no rules. I go with what feels right, with what works, what you know I wanna do right then. Right there, that's where I'm showing you the Pilot permanent pen that I use on these glossy stickers. I get asked that quite a bit. So if you're having any questions about it, you can go back and you can pause and look at that. I got mine on Amazon. It works great on the stickers. When it runs out, I'll absolutely just use an ultra fine Sharpie. There's not any difference. They're the same, really. I just happen to really like the tip on this one. It's a little bit more flexible and it just works for me, but it's not particularly special or anything like that. It's very, very similar to the Sharpie. So I use that to write on those, but otherwise I use a wide myriad of pens flares, Kira Rina twin pens, and then also now I'm using the new Happy Planner pens as well, and those are also wonderful. So I just like to use a whole bunch of different things. I like to mix it up. I get bored using the same thing over and over again, and so that's why you'll see that I change things quite often. Now you can see here I'm doing a mix of writing on stickers and then also using the different little icons to notate things. It's a good way for me to make the weeks varied. I don't like each sticker to be the same. I don't like anything to be the same, quite frankly. And so that's why it works great for me to mix and match all of the stickers that I have. And that's why I don't really wanna break down my sticker organization too terribly much, because I don't wanna get stuck in a rut of using the same thing over and over again. But by the same token, I can absolutely understand how I need to be able to find things a little bit more quickly when I'm working. Now here's something else that I'm going to go ahead and do this week. I haven't done it before, but it actually ended up working great. Just using a ruler and then being able to slice my stickers in half. This was a really big sticker, and I didn't want to use the whole thing. I just wanted to use a little bit of it. So I used my X-Acto knife and a ruler, and it worked out fabulously. And I got exactly what I needed for the space that I had, which was just a half sticker. So I'm gonna use this um, Me and My Big Ideas washi tape to sort of block out the Monday through Wednesday. My son is at science camp all three days, and I really wanted something to show the continuity of that. So I wrote it above the washi tape, but then that washi gives your mind that whole image of, okay, it's all three days. Now that's super fast, right? I told you it was gonna be a quick video and now we're moving on to the second half of the week. Wow, the best part of the week, which is the weekend. Now, like I said, I'm continuing the same A color scheme and B, the same idea of writing on some stickers, writing next to some stickers, doing all of those types of things and then also leaving room for photos. And that's kind of one of my favorite things about this whole project is being able to include little tiny peaks at the everyday week. And I'm trying to not include too many, you know, great photos. Now, when I say that, I mean like, I'm really trying to use some more candid snapshots and things like that because that's sort of what this album is to me. It's not even an album, right? It's a planner. But to create my nitty gritty details. So if I'm putting portraits and those types of things in here, I can absolutely just make 12 by 12 scrapbook pages of those. 
but I want to include some of the really fun candid things here as well. Now you can see on Thursday evening I did one of my favorite techniques which is the, the sticker layering. Two stickers together, three stickers together, however many, just multiple stickers together and then adding one on top of the other. And I love the way that it looks and how you can combine function as well. So you can have, like right there, I only had to write two words. The dinner sticker helped out a little bit too. And for me, I just also really like the look as well. So uh, that's something I've been doing a lot of recently. I don't know how long it will last because I definitely go in phases and I definitely go in spurts of different things that I do. But for right now, it's absolutely a favorite and something that you'll see me doing a lot of. And this week, you can see I also a couple of different times add this washi with a sticker on top of it. And it's pretty cute. I think that maybe I would have preferred it a little bit better had I made, done something a little bit differently. I'm not exactly sure what, but it's okay. I, I like the technique and it adds a little bit more decor and a little bit more color, which is awesome. And I do like being able to have those things without going crazy or adding too much decoration. It's still very simple, which is what this whole project is for me, is very simple. Now, as you can see here, I have four photos on one four by six, and I do those with my Canon selfie printer. I use the pick frame app to get the collage, then I print them on the selfie. And I think I'm gonna do a video on that soon of how I do that, because I know that there's a lot of questions from people, and it's actually super simple, and I'd love for all of you to be able to do that if you're interested. Now I just trim up the photos. As you can see there, now I have a nice little pile. That is for both on top of the pages and then also in the pocket, the page protector. Now this is just a two four by six one. I'm actually gonna put a whole bunch of three by fours in there and then use my sewing machine to change the configuration. You could absolutely use a fuse tool from Becky Higgins or We Are Memory Keepers. I have one, I like it. The sewing machine is just like 10 times faster for me but everybody should absolutely do what works best for them. I just like the sewing machine because it's easier. It's out on my desk already. It takes me like 15 seconds. So that's where I'm going with that. Now this is a long process and you get a long peek into this process, which is where I'm going through these pocket page cards and I'm choosing the ones that I want to use. Now I had said already that I'm using a specific color theme, so that's sort of where I'm at here. I'm going through and finding the colors that will match and look good with this particular week and the colors that I had already chosen. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I'm not a matchy-matchy person. I like things to be varied. And so that's why you'll see there's a little bit of variation. They kind of are a little bit off kilter or whatever, like having that sort of cream colored floral there. but. I really like that. It really makes things a little bit different. And like I said, they're coordinated, but they are not matchy-matchy. Now you're gonna get a little peek on my phone of how I print my photos because I noticed that I was missing some. And so I wanted to add those to my pages. And so I'm gonna go ahead and print those out. And so you're getting just a tiny little peek of how I make that happen. But like I said already, I'm planning on soon, hopefully being able to do a whole video on that and show you exactly how the process goes. Now I have a, if you look at that right there, I kind of actually hate it looking at it here. They are all exactly the same. They're all exactly in the same place. It's super boring to me. Now there's no, no offense needed if you like them like that. It's just, it's absolutely all so personal and I like them to all be very varied, very varied, huh? Um, I like them to be different. I like them to not look the same and I don't want it just feels more natural to me when they're all a little bit different. Now I'm gonna take a card that I'm not sure that I would actually use as much. Maybe the design is horizontal, or maybe it's not my favorite, or whatever the case may be, and then punch a circle out of it, and attach it to this card, and then add a little bit of washi tape. That way I can add the tiniest bit of journaling right there, since the backs of these cards are awesome and totally lend themselves to journaling, which I love. So that's why I go through and just pick one that I probably won't use in the future. And it's a great way to get use out of a card that I wouldn't ordinarily use. Now I use this big Scotch ATG gun and that's because I, for adhesive, and that's because I am a scrapbooker by nature and I started scrapbooking many, many, many years ago. And so this is a super economical way. Now, 
It's very big, it's very bulky, but the adhesive itself is very inexpensive and it really is very, very strong. And so I love to use it, but there are lots of different options and don't let adhesive be something that sort of holds you back from doing some of these things because you can pick up a basic um, adhesive tape runner at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or online and it'll do the job just fine. And so this one is sort of, I don't want to say advanced because it's really not, but it's it's definitely for somebody who's going to use it a lot. And I use mine daily, but I will also say that my kids use it too for their school projects and things like that. So it's definitely just really a great tool. And I absolutely do recommend it if you are looking for something you know, that really will stand the test of time and you'll really have for a long time and get a lot of use out of. Now I'm looking for more stickers through the sticker album and I knew that I had one that said the word class on it and I wanted to use it for that photo on the bottom because it is a photo that was on Instagram of my son's advanced biology class. And so it's such a treasure to be able to have photos like that because high schoolers, you just don't have as many opportunities for things like that. And so I was super excited and wanted to include it. Now, I don't use bulky embellishments in this project. I'm already only six months through and it is already so thick, which I love it, it's fantastic, but I need to keep this project as thin as possible. So you'll only really ever see me using paper, washi, stickers. I really try not to use much more than that, maybe the occasional paper clip, but I really need to keep it thin because my album is gonna end up being four inches thick and well, that sounds fabulous, really, I'm going to phase myself out with the size of rings and stuff like that. They just, those expander discs just don't hold that much. I mean, they don't hold four inches worth. So I really am trying to keep this as thin as possible, even though there are so many beautiful chipboard and puffy stickers and all kinds of really beautiful embellishments out there. I'm just not using it in this particular project. Now I'm lo looking for one sticker. I feel like I have a sticker that says fortune favors the brave and I can totally remember that I, that's exactly what I'm looking for here and I cannot find it. I keep looking and I keep looking and what I want to shout at myself when I'm watching this is, oh my gosh, move on, you know, find something new and eventually I do. But I am convinced I have a sticker that says fortune favors the brave and I want to use that for that picture of my son looking at a fortune cookie and I'm just going to move on. I'm going to work on something else and come back to it. And maybe I will either A, find the sticker or find something else that works for that sticker. Now, as you can see, clearly this was the week of the two by three photo that is horizontal in nature because clearly I have a whole bunch of those, which is fine. It's very exciting. And I'm glad to have included so many photos this week. And that's really what this whole thing is about for me. It's getting all of these little tiny details and Quite frankly, we're at a point in the year where there are so many different things going on. May tends to be super busy just like December, and so I guess that's why I'm pretty lucky. I have a lot to choose from. I have a lot to do. It's not boring. It's super interesting, so that's pretty fun too, right? And I like this backside because there's a couple of 3 by 4 photos to sort of balance those unlike on the front. So now see, there it is. I couldn't find the photo. I just moved on. And while I'm a little bummed about it, a sticker like the one I was imagining sounds really great. It's okay, it's no big deal. So anyway, the pocket page is finished and now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add the photos right to my page. Now I have a few different ways that I do this. Now this one, I'm gonna trim it down a little bit and just add it right there to the weekend. And what's awesome about that is that the weekend has a big wide open space. And so I can add this slightly larger than normal photo. And when I say larger than normal, I mean larger than I would normally include photo right there on Sunday afternoon. And then now this one, I'm gonna do a technique that I have a lot of fun with, which is just directly cutting my head out of this photo. And it's totally old school. It makes me think of the 1980s and you know book covers and all those things that you know we used to make and then you just cut the item out and glue it on. And I, for some reason, I'm obsessed with it, just like I'm obsessed with Snapchat filters. And so it's a really fun way to add something kind of crazy to the page. And I really like that. And on top of that, the bonus is that that's absolutely my everyday life is these funny Snapchat filters. So I love that. And that's, again, reason number 527 why this project is so crazy awesome.
So now I do add a tiny bit of decor, decoration, whatever you prefer to call it to this page because I feel like it's mostly done since I do have my photos down, all of the little events are down, the whole thing is ready to go. And so I feel like, okay, I could add just the slightest bit of decoration because really I still even consider this project fairly functional, which is weird, but I guess it's mostly just because it really is still pretty busy, right? So I feel like a well-placed embellishment or a well-placed sticker really kind of does the job. I don't need a gazillion things, and I definitely consider myself a white space planner. I love the clean look and it not being too entirely cluttered. And so adding these photos, though, I mean, it's just really my jam. I look at this and I'm like, yeah, that looks awesome. I love it. I'm super excited about having it. And then now adding this class photo at the bottom, it stretches across the two Tuesday and Wednesday, and it's just perfect to me. Like I look at it and I think, wow, that's fabulous. Now I'm going to also add this photo, which is a screenshot of my phone when my son called me from science camp. And I really, to be perfectly honest, can't find a place for it. I don't love where it ended up, but I love that I included it. And I love that I'm going to add this journaling and the whole thing and it just feels really good to me. So sometimes it may not be perfect, but it's exactly what you want it to be. Now the last thing I'm going to do is just add the tiniest last little bits of handwritten journaling just to tell the little bits of stories and the nitty gritty daily details that I wouldn't normally tell. And then that is it. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoyed it and it also lets YouTube know what you like to see. Thank you so much and make it a great day.